Hello. Hi there. Now, see, you've met Rally Turtle. He's, he's keeping me company through quarantine. So anyways, we're doing another crude rude thing in my, gri my driveway. And this one, I drew my design entirely by hand. I am not the most talented artist, but I can design things quite well. So what I did is I drew my design out, sketched it out. Here's my technology section right here. A pencil, and oh yeah, if you're not, not the best artist like me, I recommend getting the big Statler eraser my exacto knife and what i did is i cut a crude stencil out which you'll see in a second it's attached to the screen out of thin mylar so if you're doing a mylar stencil for screen printing it's a lot like <clears throat> it's a lot like doing a spray paint stencil so you had to work bridges into it so you want to use thin mylar don't get anything thick and if you can go to the art store and find flat sheets so it's kind of limiting what you can do but you can think it out, but you got to bridge the design. So I'm going to do another blend or split fountain. See, this is how you get it, get that blend started. Flood. See, the stencil is just stuck to the screen. So you want to flood as soon as you print. So the first one is not really loaded up. So that's why I had the junk sheet under here. I may have to go over this a couple of times because I got to push all this ink through, to get it primed. See, there we go. Well, a little bit of bleeding, but you know, it's a paper stencil or Mylar stencil, crudest way you can do this. Here's my uh, file folder office rack. So I'm gonna do about 25 prints. And like I said, this, this hand cut stencil, it's not really like scientific. It's crude, it's primitive and Stencils in general, they uh, kind of turned into a bit of an art form recently because of Banksy. Now, I guess I was always a, a high artist because uh, you know, I used to do skateboard and punk rock t-shirts with stencils when I was a kid. And it wasn't because I was trying to be a street artist. I was just simply uh, didn't have any money and wanted a black flag shirt. So... I just cut a stencil out of a, the back of the cereal box or a tw Pepsi 12-pack box and uh, spray it on a shirt. So like I said, you get some weird little results, but it's just like, eh, go with it. See my bridges here that hold it together? So this wind is blowing on my screen. So that's kind of going to make things dry very quickly. So to work quick you know we're in quarantine and trying to do art in a driveway so see how my blend kind of matches up having that little problem there but I don't know at this point I'm okay with it for its crude nature so you print and then you flood right away if you don't flood right away going to dry on you. So 45 degree angle. And see, remember, just like my last video, sort of keep the... keep the, the blend where you want it. My blend backgrounds is... I sort of mix the stack up. You see some of them are different. And if anybody's asking why is a little old crescent wrench taped to the table, that's off contact. That's a spacer so the mesh pops up off, off the printing surface. You don't want the screen sitting right on, right on your paper. If you do that, it's going to usually stick to the screen or smear. You want it to spring up off there because the mesh is flexible. The 
This was a screen I just grabbed in an emergency out the door. So it's adding some little texture to it, which, you know, it's fine for what it is. Oh, here's another thing. When you're doing a blend, you can kind of put some more ink where you, you would want more of the color. Red and black kind of makes a, makes a nice brown, which I don't really don't have a problem with. And I don't want to print on the table. How many of you have done that already? At least a few of you. See how you get this weird little texture? <laughs> That's the nature of this process. And sometimes you can try going over it one more time to see if it pushes it out. But I got a pretty fine mesh here, so even the thickness of this thin mylar is uh, giving me a little bit of issues. But, you know, I'm going with it. I'm in a driveway, we're under quarantine, and I'm making art because it's a nice day. So the point is also, too, you're sitting, sitting here locked up like everybody else is. Don't feel like you have to make a masterpiece. Make whatever you feel like making. That's about all you can do. Just go with it. So this would be a good time just to make art for art's sake. Just work with what you've got and just, it is what it is. This isn't a professional studio. This is a driveway. Well, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Wait till next time.